how to draw up medication using a vial. Before starting, of course, hand hygiene. Then we'll gather our supplies. We have an alcohol prep pad, sterile syringes with needles for the sub-Q injection. This is usually a 25 gauge needle. Of course, our heparin vial, you always wanna check the label to verify the medication, strength, and expiration date. All right, now we're going to uncap our vial. Then we're gonna clean the vial. We do this to prevent possible contamination. Then we'll uncap our needle. Then we're going to pull back air volume to equal the same amount the order is for. Put the needle into the vial through the rubber top. Then you're going to inject the air into the vial by pushing the plunger in. Keep the needle in the vial and turn the vial upside down. With the tip of the needle in the liquid, pull back on the plunger to draw up the ordered volume in units. Check for air bubbles and gently tap the syringe to remove any if present. Then we're gonna remove the needle from the vial and inspect. If the needle appears bent, be sure to replace it with a new needle. We do this by carefully recapping the needle using the swoop method while preparing the injection site. Now, before administering the medication, I'll review where the last injection was given to be sure the sites are rotated. Then I'll perform hand hygiene again and put on gloves. Be sure to clean the site with our alcohol prep pads. You'll pinch the skin lightly with the gloves and place the needle at a 45 to 90 degree angle and push the needle all the way into the skin. Inject the medication slowly until all the medication is injected. Remove the needle at the same angle it was put in and activate the safety feature of the needle. Then be sure to place the syringe in the sharps container. A quick review on heparin. Heparin is an anticoagulant. It's used to prevent new clots or prevents current clots from getting bigger. The routes are subcutaneous or intravenous route, but heparin is not given orally or PO because it's inactivated by gastric acids in the stomach. The antidote or reversal agent of heparin is protamine sulfate, and the side effects are bleeding. Remember, this is an anticoagulant. That's all for drawing up medication from a vial. Happy studying, future nurses.